Hey guys, Valentin here. If you're a jack of all trades and use many different apps, your taskbar might be looking something like this. Thankfully, there is a solution to this, which lets you create folders inside of your taskbar to organize all of your different apps more efficiently. All you have to do is download the free and open source taskbar group software. As always, I'll be putting all the important links in the video description. After you download the latest release from GitHub, go ahead and unzip it to your desired destination. Run the taskbar groups executable file inside of the extracted folder and press on add taskbar group to create a new folder for your taskbar. Give your group a name and choose an icon that represents the items inside of that group. To make your life a little easier here, you can drop any image file or executable to use it as the group icon. If you want, you can also modify the width here, which limits the number of apps that will appear in one line if you click on the group on your taskbar later on. At the bottom, you have a few more settings for the visuals, but I think they're pretty self-explanatory, so just make sure to try them out for yourself and adjust to your liking. All you have to do now is add new shortcuts to your group. Simply drop your apps into the add new shortcut text or plus icon. After you have added a few entries, you might want to change the order of the items, which you can do by clicking on the arrows on the left side of any entry. As soon as you're done, click on save. To add a group to your taskbar, click on the group and a new explorer window will open. Just drag and drop the group icon to your taskbar and click on it to make sure everything is working. If you set up everything correctly, you should see the apps that you have added to that group previously. One thing to note here is that your apps will still appear on your taskbar separately if you open them. But as long as you aren't using all your apps at once, it should still be more organized than before. That way you can have a neat folder structure for all the apps you use regularly without overloading your taskbar too much. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want to see more helpful tips like these for Windows, you can take a look at my playlist right here. And this video over here was selected by the YouTube algorithm just for you. Hopefully it's something you're interested in. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.